Welcome back to the channel everybody. I hope the audio is good. If you hear the audio change a bit, just me opening and closing my visor. So as you guys seen, the weather has been, well in my area, it's been probably the best it's been this fall than it was all summer. Just weird because last week was beautiful, this week is beautiful. Next week is looking good too. So right now I'm on my way to work, so I thought I'd make a quick video. I want to show you guys the construction that's going on where I usually go out to film. Go ahead. Uh, 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 uh. And right now I think it's currently at 18 degrees. So nice and warm. I'm pretty comfortable with my hoodie with my sweater on, so. Now, if you're like me, you take your bike pretty much all over your town or to, into work and so on, even for fun. If you uh, are able to get yourself a high-vis hoodie like I got, I strongly suggest you do it because this is the time of the year where we get starts getting dark early. You'd rather be seen, right? And as the saying goes, just for the slide, not the ride. I know I'm on one to talk because I'm always in a pair of shorts. But I, I do have the gear at home, but I find it very uncomfortable wear, to wear. Hey, buddy. When it's really hot out, I just can't stand it. So I mostly wear the gear in early, uh, early spring, late fall. So. Well, I'm not a good example of that. So anyways, back to the high-vis hoodie. So, if you're like me, you get off work at late at night, having a high-vis hoodie works, even though you, if you have a lot, a lot of uh, lighting on your bike, regardless. This guy going to stop you. <clears throat> okay, it's back to what I was saying. <clears throat> so regardless if your bike has a piss load of lighting like mine does, Having high vis hoodie on is actually for you, for you, it's for your own safety, not the bike safety. If your bike is like mine, it's literally like a 747. It's like if you ever have to get off your bike and walk away from it, so you have to go for a leak in the field, you can't get take the bike with you. At least you're seen, right? So that's just my take. If you're able to get to your local Giant Tiger or Walmart, it's probably one of the cheapest place to get them. I think they're called, what I wear is level 2 class 2, I think. And so that's so you're pretty much your normal high visibility. <clears throat> like I bought all mine through my work, well, I got it through my work list because I, I need to have it. But I see them at Giant Tiger 2 for like 15, 20 bucks, they're not expensive. <clears throat> so, because it is, even though it's so sunny out, I still do have my lights on. Because A, if you look around me right now, I'm around all these big vehicles. I don't have to have them on even though I'm pretty bright, but... But it's just something I continuously practice and preach. <clears throat> now, the zone, I'm still riding around. I had it out twice this week. I just need to charge one of the batteries. I don't like dropping one battery down and using the other one and have to charge them both at the same time. Because in that case, it'll take me almost like the whole day from like morning to like night to charge them all. So I rather charge one at a time. So like I'll use one, switch it over. So when I use one, charge that one, then I'll switch it over and use that one. So the other one's sitting at 72 volts. I plan on doing some writing this weekend, unless there's something I have to do I completely forgot about. So then I'll charge it afterwards. <coughs> So the zone's probably going into storage either the second week or the third week of October, weather dep depending, because it's been really nice out. And I'm trying to predict the weather. So if it's going to be really nice and warm, I'll keep it out. But if it's going to be really cold, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to put it in the storage. Sec yeah, so probably the second or third week the most, it'll be in the storage. Yeah, that's gonna 
Kind of hurt me for the rest of the season, but whatever. Give her a nice cleaning, put her in storage. I'm not going to bother waxing it, just going to leave it wiped down, leave it up. Okay, so now I saw Blab it on to show you guys this. So they started construction on the uh, indoor water park slash hotel. And as you can see by the blue vents and it's in what are you seeing right now, it's going to be huge. Look at the size of that. Now it's currently the September 28th right now. They started doing this last week clearing all of it out and look how much they got done in mean, that little time frame like it's crazy what I don't like about it is animals lost their uh, habitat I actually have a few skunks trying to barrel away in my backyard and I, I can't have that because they're uh, it's pests right so I try my best to keep them out There we go. This is, this is probably going to be one of their entrances. Like, there we go, guys. Look at that. This is what I mean. I'll probably be losing my filming spot because it's going to be busy out here. Oh, this Enbridge. Hello, guys. Watch me go. Boop, boop. Guess I'm not the only one who's out here. So I don't know if they're going to reuse this road or not. I don't know if they're going to open it or block it off. So... There's that older gentleman who's always riding his bike out here. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of comments about how fast does my Gemini go. I know the newer ones only go like 65, I believe. This is a 2020 Tau Gemini. Um, my battery's fully charged. Right now I'm just really coasting at 26, 27. And I'm going to do a full speed test right now. Now, disclaimer, I'm on a... I don't know if it's a service road or an abandoned road, but it's no longer a used road. So right now, it's literally straight down. I want to bring up the highest speed and see what happens from there. So this thing has a lot of torque. So I'm almost gonna drop the throttle. You're gonna watch my front end just rise right up. Yeah, there's one bar down, look at that. So let's give her. So I'm at 62 and climbing. Seventy-one. Keep in mind, I'm a big dude, and this thing's throwing me around like a freaking rag doll. Yeah, it's holding right now at seventy-one kilometers an hour. Seventy-three. Seventy-four. Seventy-five. Yeah, I got to slow down now. So seventy-five kilometers an hour. If I would have a little bit more distance, this thing probably would, probably would hit 80. When I first got it, I had it up to 85. But at the time, I was a bit lighter. <laughs> and we'll just turn around here, put that back in the first gear. And of course, I just charged this thing this morning, so... Don't forget, it's getting cooler out too on top of that. And the sun's right in my face. It's bare in here. So there we go guys, there's my speed test For everybody who's curious So 75 kilometers an hour max is what I got of it right now but Like I said I've had it up to 80, 85 when I first got it But don't forget the battery is 3 years old now I don't know if that makes a difference or not There's a lot of hilly areas out here Then you have the wind factor into it And yeah So The torque on this bike I think someone measured it, I've seen it on YouTube I forget what content creator it was. The Canadian though. I think it was 90 newton cool whatever it's called. <laughs> 90 foot pounds of torque, I think it was, for a bike like this. I, I don't know if that's true or not, because I don't know how you measure that. So like I said, I had it in the third gear, I dropped the throttle, front end threw up on me, I just freaking took right off. Like it's uh, it's a fast bike for the size of it. And I'm a big guy, he throws me around, like I said. <coughs> so I'm also going to give you guys a channel update too while I'm out just driving around. Before I head to work. Um, my studio is complete. Um, once the snow starts falling and all that, the contents is going to change from being outside and doing vlogging to my studio, where you see my beautiful face. Um, that's where, like I said before, I'm going to show you guys like some hacks and... The stuff I use, how I have my camera set up, and fun stuff like that. 
not just for the winter months, but once all this starts turning green again, you bet your ass I'll be back out here doing what I, doing what I love is doing this type of content. Up the hill, my hands falling asleep. What the hell is that? Yeah, so as you guys seen on the way in, there's uh, freaking construction over there. I'll probably still keep coming out here until I have to store the bike. Like, um, this bike will go into storage when it's either too cold to ride and it starts hurting the battery. Because these things are only rated to minus 10. Um, or, it's, or it snows out, whatever comes first. Like last year, it started to snow before it got too cold. So, Oh yeah, and another thing, because um, tomorrow is my weekend. So I'm actually going out to my dealership tomorrow and getting my front tire changed. Um, they'll be putting on the uh, other, well, the tire, like the one I have in the back will be going in the front, so I'll have two of the same tires. Now, I, I know I should have done them the same time, but at the time, that tire was still good, so I didn't bother changing it, which I should have, but... Again, I already spent over $200 on both the tires, and financially, at the time, to put the other tire on would be stupid. So I just did one at a time, then I painted it, and all that stuff. So that's the back one. The front one's going on is going to be the exact same tire. So I might have a bit more of a lift in the front end. Then I'll have both the same tires on it. So if I ever decide to go off-roading, speaking of tires, it's two sitting right there. Whenever I decide to go off-roading, I'll be able to because I have my dual sport tires on. So my other tires like these, they have over 4,000 kilometers on them. So I think it's time to change them. And then they're showing signs of weathering and tire rot. So I think it's better off to change it now before I put it away for the winter. And obviously he's going to get scuffed, so I'm going to have to do some painting on it. And yeah, this is like a powder coated rim, so we'll see what happens there. When the guy changed the back tire on and that, there was more scuffs for me. I don't think he put anybody putting his scuffs on it, because he obviously knows what he's doing, right? Here's the construction. I'm not very happy about that. But, you know, things change over time and money talks, right? Like there's a house and business over here, I feel fucking bad for them. Look at that. So with us everyone, enjoy the rest of the weather we have left. It's not long before that white shit starts falling. And as always, life is short. Take that adventure. I'll see you guys in the next video.